Hey, everybody. I commented on an old post last week about creating uh, seamless carousel ads for Facebook or Instagram, and I had wanted to do a new video for some time now on how to set these up in um, Adobe Photoshop. A lot of our customers use Photoshop for their own uh, revisions of source files and things like that. And I wanted to go through a couple of d different designs we've made um, over the past several months and just kind of share how, how we'd create these in Photoshop, why we do them in like a seamless design like this across the entire ad and not just break it up square by square. And um, hopefully just show you a couple of different ideas as well on uh, just for inspirational use. So <clears throat> um, we call these seamless carousel designs. They are seamless in that the designs and the backgrounds expand, extend over all of the slides in the ad and not just uh, broken up into segments. So some people will just upload one picture, one picture, one picture, and they're all individual pictures. They don't really tie in together. Uh, of course, if you're uploading e-commerce product shots or stuff like that, uh, you, you may benefit from just having them be different product images on white backgrounds and not necessarily custom design like this, but like this, this e-commerce one, for example, um, they sell different electronic gadgets for phones. And we had actually cut all of them out from the background and superimposed them in here to the design so that we just have a way more custom looking design. It's not a simple ad like you would normally see. So here's another e-commerce one. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see this okay. This is actually an old one from my old video last year that I put out, um, but it was a cool one. I really liked it, so I wanted to share it anyways. Some people think it's a lot of text, but it's actually only taken up a third of these squares roughly, um, and, and they all pass. So in our designs, we typically like to create uh, one continuous cohesive background that goes through all the slides and the way we set these up is basically we we design them each in 1080 by 1080 each square. We do 1080 by 1080 because that was always the Instagram standard size. <clears throat> um, some stuff has changed since then. I think I don't know if they're doing four by five carousels yet or not. I think they may be. Um, but what we do is we just open up a calculator here just for the example. Uh, if we have 1080 is the height, 1080 pixels. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six slides. Uh, you just do 1080 times six. So the total width of this is 6480 pixels. And uh, you would actually create a graphic like this or a, a canvas that is, uh, it should be 6480, not 6481. Um, but you would create it 6, 6480 by 1080. Resolution 72 is fine. That's just for web use and hit okay. And then uh, you would you would create a, um, a new guide layout like this here. And let me clear this out. Since you have six slides, you wanna get a new guide layout, create six columns, and then that is showing you where each slide is each card um, so that when you slice these, you will be able to export them all at once and they'll each be in these individual uh, segments. Now, sometimes I think this is still an option in Ads Manager where you can show the best performing slides or cards first. And in that case, that would jack up the design completely and it'd be all out of order and it wouldn't look right. So. If you do make seamless carousels like this, I would advise that you just don't do that so that it all looks continuous. Um, this particular design is just for our own brand showing some testimonials. So anybody that wants to share testimonials, you could do different creative stuff like this. Uh, we also, you can see here have done something where we're, we're making the product in this particular carousel extend over two slides. And we have seen in the past that having things 
overlap different slides. Even the text might be broken up into two slides. That seems to get people to uh, want to be more curious about what the next slide is because they can only see half of this. So we usually have seen some good results getting them to keep swiping to the very end. A lot of times we just use um, text for like selling points or, or features, benefits, and then um, occasionally we will do like a, a custom call to action slide at the end. Even though you can set one of those up by default in Ads Manager, uh, we would not do that and we would actually make our own custom uh, call to action slide at the end like this one here, get yours today, shop now. Um, <clears throat> But you'll see here again, we just, we overlap this product here. We have a product here overlapping two cards and same with this. So these seamless designs are just a really, really creative and unique way to uh, showcase products and services in a way that maybe a lot of audiences have not seen before. We are seeing more and more of the bigger box brands and stuff uh, using these kind of styles. And uh, although we've been making these for the last few years, they seem to be getting more and more popular even even today. So, um, you know, keep this in mind when you're creating carousel ads. They do seem to work. I don't know uh, from a, a ROI standpoint what each of these has um, done for the customers. But as far as creativity and appeal and uniqueness and, you know, eye-catching stuff, um, these really stand out on a news feed. So once you're done, you would just actually... Uh, export each slide and then upload them to ads manager and i can show you how to do that over on the left hand side it may actually look like this it's a i think the crop tool may be there by default if you just click and hold here and go down to the slice tool you'll get this option up here that says slices from guides and this will actually auto slice each card based on the guides that we've created. So you just hit slice from guides. You would see these blue little numbers show up for each slide, one, two, three, four. You would go to file and export, save for web. And I typically save these as a PNG 24 files. They just maintain the quality a lot better. Um, <clears throat> Can do jpeg as well but once you start getting into the gifs uh, gifs whatever you guys call them um, they start to lose quality so i always try to do png and then you would just hit save save it to your computer and uh, that would be that so i did see that they did not save as png but i've had this issue before with this 2020 version of photoshop um, might need to be reinstalled but that's how you do it guys it's uh, pretty straightforward the designing of this is what takes the most time but as long as you set this up uh, the canvas size should be the total width for uh, however many slides you're going to design in then the rest is is uh, smooth sailing from there. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or message me. I know that some designers will probably suggest a different way to do these. There are several options for uh, slicing and exporting as well. I'm trying to just show the most direct route. So um, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.